from the command center of the GW Solo USA. Guys, um, this is what we have a latest update on the system. And as you guys are seeing, uh, we started growing up with all Victrons. So, this is the Linux distributor 1000. That means it can handle up to about 1000 um, amps going through this guy and all the way to the shunt the the shunt to here so this is where you um you connect your uh like your inverter your charge controllers or whatever you have goes in here and um from the shunt the shunt is going to be something like here it connects to this these are bus bars and the bus bars are let me show you they're really beefy really tough guys these are huge you can see how thick they are so approximately half an inch thick so this one sticks into the uh, the uh, the shunt smart shunt it goes like that which is uh, uh, the 1000 one it feeds from here and it continue you can able to extend these guys from one two and three as much as you can go to get your distribution if you um have more components to install charge controller like this can go into this guy and um inverters can go into this guy and other equipment you want to put in here so now everything's going to read the shunts travels send the power here anything you pull you're not going to tie anything to the battery anything you pull is going to be coming from this box it has some lights here indicators if a fuse blown or something you tell that um this equipment that you have here uh is already blown you can able to label which one is here if it's an inverter inverter charge controller charge controller or maybe the servo gx you can put anything here i'm going to do this a uh, review in the next video to open it up and show you exactly what is inside how it looks like but i'm still working on having the shunt but the good thing is another video coming up if you can buy the 1000 amp shunt then you can able to utilize um another option which um, is going to be the next video stay tuned for that because i'm exploring into this um 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 victron and i want to sh share with you uh, my ideas with the victron what you can do in case you don't have a certain thing you don't have to tie it into a lot of stuff that you don't have so if i can pan here you can see the system i just built and this is the 12 volt system and we have the 24 um sorry the 48 volt system which is right here 48 volt system that just came and that's why we preparing for these guys here so that's what i'm working on right now that's the 45 amp that um the first one that's on that 12 volt so i ordered one of these because i have um uh 150 45 tr which is this guy here and the the seller sent me the wrong one sent me the wrong one because it's supposed to have a display port right here for external display which I already ordered the display the display came and it sent me the wrong charge controller it's supposed to look like this see if you take this guy out it's gonna be like this it's a black top right here that covers so you can use the the uh, Bluetooth the in inbuilt Bluetooth into it or you can use the external like this it works so it depends what do you want to do so that's the display right there and I already ordered the display for the second one because I want to parallel these guys you know so they seeing the victors uh showing up here in this house and uh, we are transitioning to uh victron we need one more 
we need the um, the shunt, smart shunt, and we need that one is ex they're all expensive, three hundred some dollars for the shunt, and I need a servo GX, and um, and I need the um, um, the uh, display of that, which is a fifty, the fifty and uh, or seventy, so two display uh, styles. Or you can use the um, it's a small panel like this and you have the bigger one a little bit then you have the main one that plugs everything on the back of that panel but um, the server GX that you can it's just like a box like this but it has a lot of components and the outputs is the HDMI that goes to that screen okay so I was looking for this guy the charge controller they sent me this one I'm really not happy with that because this is not what I ordered I want to parallel these guys okay I don't know if this one is parallelable or something I don't know but I want to have the same thing look at this one is smaller and do a comparison with this guy it's huge the heat sink is just massive so I don't want to have anything different and I can put a four a two gauge wire on this look at this one I think this is just uh, number six this one can take can't even take number four number six or number eight so look at this guy enter the big one so these are just a testing purposes that's why I use this small wire here I'm just running a small panel into that to trickle charge the batteries and uh i can't i can't go with that. i want to use a big double guy like this because look at that 150 45 150 45 is the same and the display i already got this one i can just take this guy here we can test it really quick and put our original and just plug this guy right here there you go so all the settings are already in the charge controller okay so this one it still works it's a new one and i can't leave without the charge controller i need that charge controller to be here instead of um you know i already ordered the display so i can't leave with this the displays are expensive as well but this is the deal I want that I already contacted the seller and I just received it today I want it back I want to I want to let it go back and so that they will send me the correct one it's too small look at this guy it's beefy huge look at the heat sink it's crazy see that and look at the fins on this one smaller and look at the input and output is smaller you can tell this is a flat screws screwdriver and here is a Phillips It's huge I can stick any wire like I said it's number two right here two AWG Royal excellent you can see right there number two see on the corner right there two gauge so I just want to show you the progress we're up to and this is what we're going to be doing and this is what we have been doing live on this channel JW Solo USA thanks for watching then we can do the next video I'm going to be showing you the internal part of this but I, like I said oh speaking about it let's go back to this we can have if we don't have the uh, 1000 shunt we can make that happen with the uh, 500 amp shunt to work with this guy okay there's uh, some features I'm gonna explain to you we in, in comparison within the shunt 1000 and the shunt 500 okay stay tuned for that video and uh, make sure to like subscribe and share and we'll get back to you live with the latest one Victron Energy, live here at the JW Solar Command Center in Minnesota.
Bye for now.